<laughs> okay. I was going to start the recording when suddenly this schmuck spawned on my space. <laughs> what? Um, we're going to save on that because that is that's weird. They just spawned just a random guy. Just a random guy spawned in our space. All right, then, hello, everybody. I'm Neon Icy Wings, and we are continuing our F Fire Emblem Awakening adventures, and this schmuck just bust down my door and challenge this opponent and maybe die. Challenge the Long Fort. All right. Well, first things first, let's view the map. So we... Risen Cavalier Level 7. Oh no. Alright. And we can move people around. Iron Bow, Iron Sword. The fuck is a Revenant? Blighted Claws. And it's weak to sharks? I think I might have made a mistake. And that motherfucker has bullion. And that guy has a steel bow, a risen dark mage, and a level up deedly d. Hmm. All right. I wonder, can I move people around? I can. All right. Let's see. So I can have four people with me. Da, 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 da. I'm just wondering. Do I want to shift anybody else out? I do want to have Virian so he can pair up with Sully. So that, I don't know, just to keep that going. I'll keep Vike so that he can, like, have the hammer and just bust down this motherfucker. And this is the boss, it looks like, because he has the... Like, uh, the, the shield as well as he's a level 12. Mm -hmm. And then we have fighters with the bullion. And then, and again, this motherfucker who scares me. Well. Can I, <laughs> either I, I really should have been paying attention to, like, enemy levels. In the past, like, what were the levels of the Feroxy when they were guarding this place? Alright. But the question is, do I want to change anybody? Mm, probably not, all things considered. But let's see. Select units, because we have four that are not here. Definitely not you, Donald. This is a dangerous world. Not you. Maybe Callum? Maybe kill him, but who would he replace? Either a stall? I think I'm going to keep it the way it is. But uh, inventory. He has his normal things. There's no rescue needed right now. I can't use flux, but I do have dying blaze if I really need to. He has the killer lance if we need to absolutely annihilate things. Yeah, I think everything's good. Well, uh, actually, first things first, do we want to shift anybody? Because I guess I could, like, hmm, put Vike there, move Varian. Yeah, that makes sense. And I do believe that that'll be it, and we're probably going to get annihilated. More than likely, we're going to get annihilated. Let's go ahead and pair up everybody. Uh, items. I want you to equip the hammer. Because this motherfucker <laughs> is terrifying. What we're going to do is we're going to move him here. 
so that he has bonus. And they will defend him. I should have set it to... Uh, it wouldn't matter because he's paired. Meh. All right. Did we... It said C, so I wonder if they, like, uh... Probably did anything, but bah. Then we'll come up here and grab this. Wait. Man, just sneak some practice in. Weapon proficiency improved. I wonder if route the enemy means just defeat the the big guy, or if that's just the resident big guy, but... Since he is big and fast, we'll set him up here just in case craziness happens. Don't annihilate the boy! I probably should have looked at the weapon forecast before we did this. Aha! You missed anyway! Get annihilated! Not super annihilated, but still. Oh, they are moving in. They are moving in! Oh, they are moving in. Ooh, I recognize that lay motif. And then it gets more action-y if you're in here. Yeah, take out that man. And then I will set him here. All right. There's a bunch of ranged motherfuckers. Hmm. What's your forecast? Not to kill him. What about these guys? You wouldn't even kill these guys. Jesus. Not because he is a mage. So Axe should still kill him. Let's get this guy out of the way. He's scary. <laughs> he laughs. Hmm. We'll come here. He has slightly more health, which is amusing. Aha, you missed, fool. Okay, only two damage. Meanwhile, we annihilate you. Goodbye. We should probably... Sh be <laughs> like, I don't even know. Oh, that's a 100% guarantee to hit move. Oh, God. Well, what are you? That would get rid of you, at least. <laughs> and the question is, do I want to, like, risk things? But if we were to, like, come down here, switch, then attack. Hmm. Ooh, that would be risky. What if we switched and attacked with him? That would also be risky. Ooh, let's go for it. He'll probably miss. Booyah! Goodbye, Elwind dude. Anybody want to touch my muscles? Your muscles should be freezing. 
guaranteed to hit, but he's not. I'll go ahead and do it. Ah, sea level obtained. Because let's see. <laughs> yes, I for one could use that. Hmm. Let's see. My sword should kill him, but that would put me deathly low. What if we switched and attacked him? Would get him pretty low, and there's a ton of motherfuckers in there. Hmm. Ba 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 ba. Meanwhile, if we came in here, we could even just use the iron lance to kill him. Hmm. There's the higher. I think I forget what. What's the killer lance even do? I think I looked it over. Items. Increases the likelihood of critical hits up to, well, a base 30, which makes it 36 of our stats. And we really should, like, actually move in, because, like, uh, what we could do is I could come here. Attack one of these guys, but neither of them would die. But we do have the chance to attack multiple times. But I wonder if that's like... I, I wonder how that, like, stat-wise works. If it is telling me I will attack twice, and that is the damage it will do. Like, let's look at my thunder. It's a might free. I don't know what that means in terms of damage. I'll try to kill this guy, then Frederick could kill that guy, and we'll stand together to be able to withstand the onslaught. Double hit! Oof! A, a third hit crit! Overkill! That's not strategy, that is luck. That is what that is. That is pure, unfiltered luck. And uh, we'll just use the Iron Lance to get rid of you. What the fuck? That is horrifying. What even are you? Are you a spoiler of what's to come? A challenge, he says. Level A! Which is all. Darn it. At least the other guy won't be able to attack me. And a triple hit! Which killed him! Oh fuck, that means that the other guy can come in and hit me! Give me health. Give me health, please. It gave me health. And lots of other things. Neat. Please don't attack me again. And I got the bullion. They're gonna whittle away at my boy. Poor Vike. And they did it, you bastard. Dodge! Yay. <laughs> oh boy, a crit time! Goodbye! Utter annihilation. Because I do want to get to that, but... That probably means, because let's see, I can move from the looks of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Huh, I wonder why I can go more that way than I can that way. I don't know. We can do the same. Because let's see. 
Oh, this ain't good. The, the boss man's coming. Boss man cometh. So... And we'll switch, because he's less likely to be annihilated. And we'll send him to try and get the sparkly, if at all possible. Because what I could do is come here and attack that guy. Then I could allow Stall to come here and attack him. Hmm. I think that's my best option to whittle them down. That is my best option. Fear, fear, fear. First things first, too risky. He is way too low, and I don't think any of these people are carrying vulnerables, which I really should have done. We'll give him, use the bronze sword, because I think that's his best weapon at right now. Look alive at the dark mage. Oh, hey, at least this means that he'll probably die. Darn it. One HP. Hmm. Let's see. And that guy's a mage, so he'll be scary. Honestly, a part of me wants to just barrel down on the level 12 guy and not even try, like, try to limit his capabilities of even getting a hit off. So, like, we'd come here. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way we're going to get, like, bonuses between all of them. Well, let's go Bronze Lance. Get a crit 1%. Nope. Well, this ain't good. Double hit from Vike? Nope. I foresee bad things happening. Are you gonna die? No. Choo. But you're probably gonna get targeted, so goodbye, stall. At least I'm uncasual. Jesus. Uh, in the road for me, I have to withdraw. Are you gonna kill Vike too? Gonna come close to it. And still not close enough. We could swap. But then that puts us in a dangerous place, unless we want to use Dying Blaze, which I don't. Well, let's risk it for the biscuit. Then he'll strike. Aha, and you miss. Oh, four attack. Booyah. <laughs> One, that is such a painful level up. And I got the ability solidarity and leveled up my books. Come down here and wait. 
How would you feel about fighting together in the next battle? Okay, I'll do my best. Together we can take whatever the bad guys throw at us. Oh, and neither of these should really be a threat. Unless you miss. Yeah, don't miss. Good. Now we'll see if it ends the match, too. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of experience. And did not. Also, I forgot to check. What is solidarity? Grants crit dodge to all adjacent allies. That's a pretty neat move there. Now kill this guy. He doesn't deserve to live. I probably should have used your sword for it to level up your sword. Considering the level differential there... That we only got stall killed is luck. And that takes care of the Risen. This area ought to be safe for a spell. Jesus. Yeah, just I did not expect just a random fight to pop up. I wonder if I should buy Volnaries. Maybe. Well, we got, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on now. Let's do Virion and Sully. Hey, Ruffles. I saw you in that battle. Then you've seen the fearsome beast that lurks within this lover's tender bosom. I only pray it did not frighten you, gentle lady. And I trust it proved that I am a hero, fated to keep you safe. <laughs> Was it also fate that you chickened out of that duel? That was common sense and nothing more. What reason had I to accept? Running from a duel is hardly heroic. At the very least, I am the man, that man's hero. By turning down his offer, I spared his life. I think we have a different idea about the word hero means. You wound me, milady. I assure you I am no craven. Had that cur but glanced at you, no force in this world could have stayed my hand. <sighs> You've always got some clever answer ready. Talking to you is like dancing. It's exhausting and sweaty and I hate it. I speak only the truth, milady. Whether or not you believe me is your prerogative. Great, and I don't believe you. you. You might at least have paused a moment to consider before. <laughs> Easy, Ruffles. I'm just teasing. Sure, you fled the duel, but you actually looked passable the rest of the time. Looks like you're still in the running to be Mr. Hero. I'm looking forward to next time. All shall gaze upon my might and tremble, my lady. This I swear. Again, I like their dynamic. Their dynamic is just nice. Come, my lady. It's time for your lessons. And don't bother trying to run away this time. I'll fetch my horse if need be. Gah, me and my big mouth. Frederick, please. My whole body's one big bruise after yesterday. A clear indication you need to train more. You're badly out of shape. Now come. You'll never get stronger by making excuses. I won't get any stronger if I die from training too hard either. I need a break, Frederick. Do you know what a break is? I'm familiar with the concept, yes, but it's not something I engage in personally. How is that possible? People need to let off steam or they explode. It's very messy. I exist to serve and protect you and Crom. That is my role as a knight. The oath I took did not include stipulations for time off. You know what? I think you just don't know how to relax. <laughs> Wait, I thought I was joking. Was I right? You don't know how to relax? Enough talk. Adopt your stance, or practice dodging arrows. More like dodging questions. All right, fine. I can see this is going to take some doing. So how about this? In exchange for you making me stronger, I'll train you in the art of slacking off. You should, be f you should feel honored. I'm the best slacker in all you lease. My lady, we really don't have time for... If we don't have the time to waste, you'll never learn to waste time. Wasting time learning how to better waste time seems like a frightful waste of time indeed. Exactly. So let's get started. Perhaps this time I should be the one running away. 
I like their dynamic. It is kind of hilarious that the only one that... Oh! And raised with me. Let's see what our dynamic is. Your grip, stance, and breathing are wrong. Focus, Neon. Again. Ready. That's enough for today. Your form has improved considerably. The pace of your progress is remarkable. <sighs> Thanks. I feel like I've got the basics down now, but so tired. I think I'm dying. <laughs> You're exaggerating. Or at least I pray so. Otherwise, you might as well die here. You won't last long on the battlefield. I suppose, but I'm exhausted nonetheless. But you, you've hardly broken a sweat. I certainly hope not. If a little training winded me, I would be in no shape to serve Crom. Well, I'm impressed. You must train hard to build such endurance. Well, I awaken before dawn each day to build the campfires. Then whenever we march, I scout the trail ahead, removing rocks and such. Wouldn't do to have someone turn an ankle mid-campaign, now would it? So that's why. I always thought it was just a fixation with pebble collecting. Beg pardon. Did you say something? Er, uh, nothing important. But I owe you for this training session. So let me help you with tomorrow's fire. It'll be a snap with my magic. Find a tree, hit it with a lightning bolt, and presto. Instant forest fire. Oh, well, yes, I suppose that could happen. In any case, I still do owe you a favor. Whatever you like, name it and it's yours. You needn't decide today, of course. Think it over the next time we meet. I am unaccustomed to asking favors, but if you insist, I shall find something. That's sweet. And now... Oh, we're already to A! Oh, this... I see that S rank is reserved for... <laughs> I see where the S rank are, like, uh, reserved for. That's kind of funny. Kind of amusing. But let's go! A! Will it be stupid rom-com time part three, or will we actually have a piece of dynamic here? I feel so awkward around Neon. Ever since that bathing tent run in... Uh, whenever I end up alone with her, I'm just frozen in embarrassment. Ah, uh, what should I do? I've never had this problem before. I know, a bath! You're gonna do it again this quickly? Or maybe it'll be reverse and I'll stumble into him. Now that would actually... wouldn't be bad. Make me the dumbass for once. I know, a bath. Yes, perhaps a nice hot bath is just a thing for my nerves. I'll have a soak, and then find Neon for a relaxed conversation, like always. Let's see, the lances and axes are kept around here somewhere. I'll just take a quick inventory and see if any repair need repairs or replacing. Somewhere around here... Ah, uh, here, the arm storage tent, I presume? All right then, I'll just head in and... Ah! Neon, where'd you come from? <laughs> Kya! Blazes, what are you screaming for? If anyone should be screaming, it's me, isn't it? You aren't supposed to put ouch! And stop it! Stop throwing things! Hey, that's sharp! Don't ouch! Have you no shame? Noble or not, you should at least wear a towel when you address a lady. But but you ow! You were the one who walked in on me! <laughs> and thus I was the dumbass. Somehow I had a bunch of pointy things to throw at him. Uh, I'm sorry, Crom. Are we done throwing things? I think. I don't know what happened. Something just snapped and... Well, no harm done. A god's justice, perhaps, for my earlier blunder. <laughs> well, anyways, thanks for being so good-natured about it all. I feel terrible about that soap dish. How's your ear doing? Better. It still stings a little, but better. In any case, look on the bright side. We've seen each other naked now, right? So I guess we've nothing left to hide. In a way, we're closer than ever. Not the most appropriate way for a man and woman to get to know each other. But I suppose as long as nobody else knows. <laughs> it's like we're partners in crime, sharing an unsavory past. Anything that brings us closer will just make us stronger on the battlefield. Just you wait. Partners in crime? <laughs> I like the thought of that. Well, partner, your secret's safe with me. Okay, that's sweet. That kind of fixes the past ones just slightly, <laughs> ever so slightly. Now that the dumb rom-com 
section is over. <laughs> That's just kind of amusing ever so slightly. Do I need to equip Solidary? Nope, I can remove. I wonder if that means that, like, everybody's gonna get, like, a bunch of super skills. Let's take inventory quickly. Krum is only good with swords. Oh, yeah, bullion. Fetches a thousand gold at market. Doesn't seem like anything. Doesn't seem like anything. We need to throw that in store. And I think, well, aside from then coming over here. Ah, uh, but he doesn't have the rank for it, but we'll give it to him so that he can hold on to it. More powerful than its iron brother. Affordable and easy to hold. Well, I guess we'll come here and we'll sell the bullion. What can I fix you with? But then... The... The Reeking Box. Calls Risen to the world map. Strength varies by location. And if each one has a... Like, if it's anything like the other Risen free battle we just did... I wonder if that then means that, like... We could basically farm money this way. Which might be... N <laughs> then I could just power up my entire army. That would be slightly amusing. But we'll hold off on buying the Reeking Box just yet. But next time that we... Then again, hmm. No, no, no. But yeah, basically, my thoughts are... Next time there's a free battle, we'll throw some of our lower-ranked soldiers in to try and level them up. Because we're playing on casual, so we don't got to worry too much. Chapter 4. Two Falcons. Prince Krom, please wait here while I summon the Khan. Of course. Clunk heavy mortal armor, go. They didn't even go towards the, 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 the throne. The Khan is away? Out training, I'd wager. The Khans of Ferox prefer battle to politics. Or rather, battle is their politics. Which would explain why they didn't go to the throne. They probably hardly need one. A warrior ruler, eh? I can picture him now. A giant man of unparalleled thew, his broad chest covered in hair. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious! Nice design. Please do go on. Huh? You have permission to break me any day. You're the, er, uh, that is to say, the Khan, I presume. One of them, yes. The East Khan. My name? <laughs> I, it's because of frickin', uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy who did all of the, like, weapon and hat stereotypes for Team Fortress 2 on YouTube. Soundsmith. Because he did, a, like, I, I think he calls them, like, uh, mi meatloafs. Which are just, like, quick and easy, like, little videos of him playing Team Fortress 2. And one of them was Flavor Flav, where they, like, ran around his scout with, I think, the rap assassin making people bleed. So now, whenever I see anything that's even slightly spelled like that, it's just in the back of my mind. Soundsmith and his friend going, Flava Flav. My name is Flavia. Because, damn me if it's Flavia. <laughs> my name is Flavia. I apologize for the troubles at the border, Prince Krom. You are welcome in Regna Ferox. Thank you, but I'm confident we can put that misunderstanding behind us. Is it true bandits posing as Elysians have been ransacking your border villages? Yes, those Plegian dogs. We found documents proving as much on the corpse of one of their captains. Plegia must have seen some benefit in raising tensions between your kingdom and ours. Damn them. 
I forgive me, Your Grace. That was indelicately put. <laughs> damn them and damn delicacy. Here in Ferox, we appreciate plain speech. In that case, you should have a word with your damn border guards. <laughs> now that's Feroxy diplomacy. Yes, I like you already. I know why you have come, Prince, but regrettably I cannot provide any Feroxy troops for Elise. What? Why not? I lack the authority. Forgive me, but I don't understand. Aren't you the Khan? As I said, I am one of the Khans. In Ferox, the Khans of East and West hold a tournament every few years. The victor acquires total sovereignty over both kingdoms. And that means they have final say where it comes to forging alliances. Interesting. So, it's like two kingdoms that kind of unite under the strongest, and then I would assume for, like, a period of a few months to break apart again to ready for the next king like kingdom battle. That's kind of interesting. The West Con won the last tournament, you see. Ah, that's why. So he's still, or they're still in power. And so... So we are to receive no aid at all? Not if you always give up so easily. The next tournament is nigh, you see. And I am need of champions. What does that have to do with us? The captain of my border guard informs me your shepherds are quite capable. Perhaps you would consider representing the East in the upcoming tournament. If you win and I become ruling Khan, I will grant your alliance. I would have assumed Ulyssians had no place in such Feroxy traditions. <laughs> On the contrary. The Khans themselves do not fight. They choose champions to represent them. Otherwise, our land would be rife with blood feuds and dead Khans. We don't involve comrades or kin for the same reason. Ah, so they basically hire out or find strong warriors who aren't, like, directly connected to the ruling con of East or West. So that way, the next ruler, or, like, there won't be any, like, revenge, I suppose. Unless they want to, like, go to Elise or somewhere, or <laughs> hunt down the mercenaries. Over time, it was decided the tournament should be fought by outsiders. Although the outsiders have never included foreign royalty, <laughs> that I know of, <laughs> Regardless, it is your choice to make. There is no choice, Iskan. My people are desperate. We face not only Plegia's constant attacks, but now the added threat of Arisen. If fighting for you is the quickest way to an alliance, then we will take up our steel. <laughs> oh, I like you, Prince Krom. I do hope you survive the tournament. Come, I'll show you the arena where the tournament is held. But be wary, I hear an equally able swordsman champions the West Con. He shall be defeated by Ulysses' necessity. Well spoken again. I look forward to seeing if you're equally skilled with a blade. I like this. This feels anime. This feels anime as fuck. Oh, we only have six people to our name. Hmm. Now the question is, do I want to bring anybody... Muriel and Donnie are too weak to bring in. Same with Sumia. I need to probably buy a ranking box and level them up some. But let's see. Is there anybody... Jesus, I am leveled as fuck. We're obviously taking Frederick. Uh, maybe swap out Sully and Virion and throw Stahl and... Hmm. Maybe... Hmm. Yeah, at least stall. And maybe Sumia. Maybe Muriel. Donnie, maybe? Hmm. Since we got rid of Virian, we'll throw her in as well. This is probably a bad idea, but let's go. Let's see. So I can I can even swap out me. Oh no, I can only move. Everyone but Krom. You did that thing? Yeah! How dare you betray us? And why do they have so many more? They have... Like, let's see. Let's go to full. Oh. Uh, no, this one. They have nine. We have six. We are fighting at a disadvantage. Oh, we can even see, like, they're full. Yeah, like, they're everything. Neat. 
I do like the simplified, though. Hmm. More than likely, these will be simple enemies, and they won't charge at me. Hopefully, Marth won't charge at me. But I'm going to say that... I am prepared to fight you. Krom, look! I see him. Marth, one question before we begin. Fine, then. Our swords can speak for us. Hey, I think this is the arena from, uh, that was used in Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah, because it did say parallel falcon to two falcons. <laughs> Jesus, that was anime as fuck! He truly is a Fire Emblem character. And neither of them hit each other. <laughs> You'd think that he'd be wielding the sword in the arm with the pauldron. Route the enemy. Oh, is there going to teach this now? <laughs> I already know. Martha's is a gifted swordsman, and his men look capable as well. We should mind our distance. Danger area. Select an enemy and press the A button to view the enemy's range of action. You can also press the X button to toggle the danger area for all foes. I'm going to assume that at least a decent few of them are obviously going to go together. Hmm. Then we'll go this way. Hello, you're in a good mood. Find a new weapon you like? Hmm, no, I was just thinking about some crafty tactics you and I could use in battle. I really feel like we did not need that. Hmm. Let's see. Because it goes lance beats sword, sword beats axe, so we should be fine. In that case, we'll lure them in. Uh, his sword is already equipped. Good, good. Come at me! And you missed, you fool! You all are missing. <laughs> yes, yeah, solo that bitch. Nice level up spread. I can feel a huge difference. Oh, now they're moving in. Because if we... Oh, I know. I can probably just move up a bit. Switch and see. Won't kill, but would level her up slightly. Hmm. Let's see. What about him? Let's quickly see. Nobody further up ahead is coming. I could probably come here, and let's see. Switch and see. That would annihilate him. Ooh, and he even drops a thunder replacement. He even drops a thunder replacement for me. Or we could just attack him straight up. Hmm. I don't want to damage Krom too early. And this, she'll take, I will take less damage. Smite this fool! Ah, you missed, you fool! I swear if I get to, like, S-rank friend relationship with Krom this super early, I will laugh. Hmm. But 
then if we switch, it's a possibility of doing major damage. So we should move, switch, attack. And we will just come here and smite him with an Iron Lance. That way, it's less likely for Muriel to be annihilated. <coughs> Take this! Come on, Stahl, you could have fought too. Ah, oh, great, the big boys are coming to play now. Wouldn't even kill him. But if instead... We swapped... Hmm. Let's quickly see, what are you guys- what are you guys' ranges? So we have, like, a, a round or two if we don't want to risk it right now. Let's see. I can't even get to them either. So we could just uh, come together. Hmm. Actually, this... Because he would be annihilated no matter the lance I use. Maybe I should have brought the miniature lance. I guess what I could do is switch, staff, heal Muriel so she can take another hit and do a bit more battle with the guy, maybe. We'll do it from here. And maybe he'll miss. Yeah, stall, don't block any magic or anything. Just power leveling, <laughs> leveling Muriel here. Ah, now you dodge. Good job, Muriel. And you leveled up. Good for you. At least it was a decent spread. Pro propitious. I have no idea how to say that. I am a gremlin. Propitious growth, if I may so. If I may say so. Darn, so these guys are going to come in and really hurt us. So let's see. Because really, these are the guys we kind of need to worry about. Ah, apparently I would annihilate him with my magic. What about you, Krom? Would you annihilate him? With rape, you're true. Then I wonder if Marth here will start coming down after these guys. Let's see. Nope. We do attack twice, but do, like, no damage. I'm slightly scared. I have to use a Silver Lance to destroy you. Hmm. I want to see something, quickly. So if he did attack, he wouldn't destroy Muriel. Alright. And that would almost kill him, too. Damn it. Well, let's hope let's hope Stahl jumps in this time. Damn it, Stahl!
Oh, because I have to switch. And we can use the Iron Lance. Overkill, but <laughs> goodbye, dude. I'm so glad that I brought the right weapon for you. Out of all, Neri! And I shall annihilate you with my magic. Because it's probably all his armor. That should be a thing. His armor should be so conductive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. It wasn't even the rapier that did you in. Oh, you have throwing axes. You bastard. And you missed. Fool. You both went after the ranged people. And you both missed. And even the non-ranged guy decided to charge across the battlefield to show you what's up. Then I guess we'll get let Stall have a go. Hmm. We'll come this way. And then we'll wait so that Stall can go in. And get a smack. Yeah! Good job! Teamwork! And weapon level raised. I'll move him up ahead a little bit, just in case. Nope. Marth is being a good buddy-buddy, and they're just waiting for us to come smite them. Now I just need to decide who deserves the sparkly. Hmm. Because you are a scary motherfucker, and what is your skill? Dual strike increases the trigger rate of dual strikes by 10%. And apparently the parallel falcon is super effective against all dragons and not just green dragons. Hmm. You know, because it would be fitting, we shall have Marth stand here. Huh? Did someone drop this? And that's precisely why I did that, because uh, I my avatar didn't have any room anymore. Towering bow! And we will swap so that she can be there, I guess. Fight me now. Who is your father? I've said enough for one day, sir. Hmm. Is that how it is? Lisa owes you her life, and for that you have my gratitude. But within these walls, I represent the East Khan and the interests of Elise. I can't promise to stay my blade, but I vow not to shame you. <sighs> Never expected such youthful arrogance. We shall see who shames who. Well. Ow. Oh, neat! Never seen that before. And go ahead and heal. Do you have a healer on your team? No, you just let all your people die. You're a poor leader. And now you will die! Be cool if it was a crit. Aw. Goodbye, Marth. Impressive, if not surprising. And a level up. That cape almost looks like they're bleeding. My strength comes from diligence. Huzzah! And apparently, I guess Stahl and Muriel just got so many rounds that time that they got branded the heroes. But who is the East Con? Or West Con? Because we represent the East Con. Well fought. You have my respect. And perhaps more to the point, you have your alliance. I will provide Yelise with the soldiers she needs. Truly. Thank you, East Con. I should thank you. It feels like ages since I've held full power. Did that does that mean that the West Con has just like accumulated like a bunch of mercenaries or what? 
Come, my new friends. Tonight we celebrate. And then she just ran off. Who are you? You must be the Westcom. Bah. Any excuse for a party and Flavia jumps on it. I'm sorry. Have we met? I'm the Westcom, you so rudely removed from power. You're handy with a sword, boy. I thought for sure I'd picked the stronger man. What do you know about him? You mean that Marth? Bah! He's just some sellsword with delusions of grandeur. All I know is that he turned up one eve and knocked my old champion flat. It was love at first sight, and I'm generally too old for such things. <laughs> anyway, he's gone now. Up and fled the moment the tournament ended. He's so dark and mysterious. Uh, sounds like Marth's got at least one fan. I wonder if this means that the West Con is down for some man action, because he said love at first sight. Which, when you pair that with Cell Sword, is amusing to me. Well, I mean, come on, he is sort of dreamy, isn't he? And you're sort of dreaming. Ouch, lighten up, big brother. I was just kidding. My lord, my lady, if this fascinating discussion is over, we'd best return home. The Exalt will want this news of our new alliance immediately. Right as always, Frederick. In the West. Oh, for a moment I thought it was just going to end there, and there's just like, ah, yes, the West Con has just been standing there through all of this. Hold, boy. Before you go, I have a little present for you. A dude! Your old champion, I presume? Longku? This is Longku, my former champion. Not much for talking, mind you, but he's peerless with a sword. As good as Marth in my mind. To be honest, I can't figure out how Marth bested him so quickly. Marth beat him? But he looks so big and strong. <laughs> Away, woman. Uh, what did you say? <laughs> Let's just say the ladies tend to put Longku on edge. Nonetheless, he is capable. Perhaps he even has the makings of a con. Consider him West Ferox's contribution to the Elysian cause. You're certain about this? Yes, yes. He's your man now. And Longku, you have no objections? He gives orders, I stab people. I think our roles are clear. All right then, welcome aboard. I love his first line is just, Away, woman! Be gone! And then we ought to walk. I don't, for a moment I was just like, wait, is that actually literal Marth from Smash Brothers? Because I don't know actually which game Marth is from. Is he from Binding Blade? No. He might be in Binding Blade, but I don't know if he comes from Binding Blade. I don't know. Then Regna Ferox will support Yelise? Thank you, Krom. I knew sending you was the right choice. You should see Ferox's warriors. Perhaps now our people will be safe from... But it's this mysterious music that's playing. Your Grace, m my lord, forgive me, but I bring alarming news... Fila, slow down, please. What's happened? Plagian soldiers have been sighted inside our southwest border. They attacked a village in Themis and abducted the Duke's daughter. B but that would be Maribel! Krom, we have to do something! There's more. King Gangrel of Plegia claims Lady Maribel invaded his country. He demands we pay reparations for this insult. And we're to believe a dastard like the Mad King of Plegia? Peace, Krom. We must keep our wits about us. We should put a sword in his gut and be done with it. The Mad King has been trying to provoke war with Yelise at every step. 
He won't stop until he drags this whole continent to hell with him. I agree with the prince, your grace. We must demonstrate to Plegia that such actions have consequences. I understand your feelings, Krom. Truly I do. But if we give him the war he wants, then we lose no matter the outcome. Our last conflict nearly ruined the Halidom. It left Ulysseans homeless and starving. We cannot repeat that mistake. With King Gangrel. Uh, no, you can't! What she said. Please reconsider, your grace. He cannot be trusted to act in good faith. So either we choose to march to war or leave Lady Maribel to die? No, I will not accept that. Forgive me, your grace. I spoke out of turn. I know you will stand always by your own principles. Pray allow the Pegasus Knights to accompany you, though. I'm going too. Someone has to save you from your good intentions. And I want to be there for you and Maribel. As you wish. Thank you all. Your strength will be mine. It would be a twist if Maribel actually did invade. But she probably didn't. Well then, is everyone ready to go? It's a long march through the western mountains to the Plegian border. Who are you? Rickon? Captain, I'm all packed. When do we leave? Rickon? How did you... Go back inside. You're not old enough for this mission. But Captain... You know my skill with magic. You know I can handle myself. We recruited Donnie. I don't think that we can complain about him coming. I feel safer with your magic here, protecting the garrison. All right, we're off. Be good. Obviously, since they introduced him, he is not going to wait. Be good? Gods, how old does he think I am? Well, I'll show him just how good I can be. I'll raid the Plegian border myself. What the fuck is that? Barracks unlocked. The Outrealm Gate has opened an island to the south. Well, that's a lot that happened. So we have a battle here and a, a super shop. Is that what this is? Hi, make yourself at home. I got special items in today. Let's see. A Draco shield permanently increases defense by two. A rescue. Per I'm interested. Huh. A Draco shield. I wonder if that's good. And there's the rescue. Because, like, what does a shield even do? How does a Draco shield work, I wonder? That's a wonder. Because, like... I'm interested. I'm interested in the idea of the Draco shield because it's like it's there, but it's early, so I don't know if it's good. I don't know if the, it's like a good thing. Hmm. Is it a worthwhile thing? Do I want you? It's just like, are you good? Because... It increases defense by two, which is like two level ups, two defense as a stat. But it is expensive. But then that's like nothing that a few risen battles is good. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Because, like, it would be good to give to, like, a unit so they could, like, even more be able to tank. But it's so expensive. And then also rescue. Let's see. Because that would make it 3,000 and some change. I could maybe sell some stuff to get a reeking box. But we already have a rescue, and I'm, but I'm not sure how good... Hmm. But it moves a distant ally to an adjacent space, which would be good. 
fuck it. It's a it's a permanent permanently raises. I'm not sure if it's like an equip, but let's nah. And then I could buy a rescue and then a reeking box if I so wanted. And screw it, let's buy a reeking box. And then she goes away. Oh. Barracks, see what units are up to right now. Sure. Apparently a lot. New events have occurred. Let's see them all then. <laughs> Let's listen in. Hey, so what do you dream about doing one day? Why dream when you live the legendary life others dream of? Just a quick little diddly D, I guess. There's a little vike in the bottom. People come in here <laughs> and vike came back in. And we can look around. Interesting. Listen in. Well, now, don't you look pleased as a pig? Didn't you do well in the last battle? Nah, Teach is happy because he, uh, his friend managed to bring a weapon for once. I, I completely forgotten Vike's voice. It's like they give him a scene and then they never appear again. Who's gonna come in here alone? Ah, Sumia. I haven't tripped in at least an hour. That's truly amazing. Was it something I ate? Gained a surge of strength and skill because her... <laughs> <laughs> like, belief in herself that she hasn't tripped in an hour. But well, I wonder what's going to top off this series of events. And Varian. See how well I polished my equipment? Is that a euphemism? The bald shall sing of Varian's legendary shine. Gain some experience. So it's definitely worthwhile to come in here. I wonder if the conversations raise, like, their affinity with each other, if it's just cosmetic. Oh. Maybe this is an affinity thing, so let's see. Hey, what are your dreams for the future? Sometimes I feel like life has no direction. My dream only of helping us all attain what we seek. Relationship improved. So the other things are just there for the care. I guess it could be, like, oh, if the, like had an affinity with each other, they would, like, actually do something. Stall and Muriel. 98, 99, 100. Whew. Why do you repeat that same motion over and over again? Have you ever heard, never heard of shadow fencing? I assume it entails performing sword strikes and parries with an imaginary opponent. Is the point of the exercise pure kinetic stimulation, or is there more to achieve? Well, by making moves second nature, you can perform them better and faster. Interesting. So the goal is to remember the moves in your muscles, not your mind. I think this process warrants further study. Would you mind terribly much if I observe? In theory, no. But I've just finished for the day, and I'm exhausted. Ah, I see. This is disappointing. Most terribly disappointing. But, but if you really want, I suppose I could run through a few more drills. I believe 200 repetitions would be sufficient to establish a baseline. T 200? Good gods. I don't have the energy for that. Most terribly disappointing. Well, I suppose I can find another more lucrative field of study. Perhaps I will just observe this rock. Yes, that should suffice. It's round and smooth. Wait, no, it's still round. All right, all right. I'll do it. Just stop making me feel bad. <sighs> Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> that dynamic is interesting and amusing to me. And I guess... Let's... Well, we, we did save. Well, first things first, let's go... I wonder... Is it a skill? All skills equipped, so it is not. So it has to be an item. I assume. Let's switch to full so that we can see everyone's defense. Defense is 10. Defense is 9. Defense is 3. 
Defense is 15. Defense is 8. Defense is 3. 7, 6, 7. Oh, yeah. He has a killing edge, and he's a Myrmidon. Good for you. Which has a high crit rate, it seems. And what's your skill? Avoid plus 10 and <laughs> grants avo uh, avoid plus 10. Amusing. And he's a C in swordsmanship. Defense 6, defense 4, defense 5. But it's been boost. Uh, some of her skills have been boosted. I wonder why his thing is boosted as well. Defense plus two. Actual. What is that? Let's let's go to your skills. It's just defense plus two. Okay. <laughs> Grants defense plus two. No, you don't say. So the question is, I should. Hmm. I could give the defense to Frederick so that he could just be the uber god of tanking. And you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the thing. Oh. Have a Draco shield. I assume that I have to... Nope, I can use it. There you go. How many vulnerabilities do we have? They all seem to be equipped... And he's A rank with his lances. Hmm. So really, I think I'm going to store the killer lance. And after we, like, do this next battle and hopefully get a bully on, we will go and uh, buy him, like, a weapon, like a bronze sword. So we can train up his stuff but with that out of the way save we are going to do this battle and hope they're not going to kick my ass all right let's view the map so we have three units up here that aren't terribly leveled hmm We'll swap. He's level four. But I don't want to use his killing edge in this fight. Let's bring Sully in so that she can level up. Compare up with Virian again. Hmm. Yeah, and we'll have Muriel continue to do things. Let's see. Nope, um, view map. Let's see. Yeah, because what we'll probably do... We'll have... Uh, we'll have to move, uh, like, units around so that, like, these guys are forced to come closer without being able to attack so that we can ambush them. And then force you to come and attack somebody who's on the, on there. All right, let's go. Hmm. I'll come to you so you can pair up. Yeah, that's not worth it. Pair up with her for now. You can pair up with him. And as always, yeah, so if we move here. Wait. 
we will swap. And wait. No damage, fool. But lots of enemies are going to come storming on in. We will quickly swap so that we can then... Ooh! Interesting. That even changes this layout. Interesting. I think I prefer this. Well, go ahead and annihilate this fool. For daring to exist. Oh, and a crit! Goodbye, fool! 78 for the bonus damage crit. Awesome. This is the least of my most noble efforts. Hmm. We will swap, and let's see. I have trust that we'll make mincemeat out of you. I like the remix that's playing in the background. You missed with Elwind, you fool! <laughs> A three-hit crit! Be gone! You fool! And an awesome spread of stat increases. Wow, sometimes I surprise even myself. Darn. Well, I guess I'll move here, swap, so that we can then come in, switch. Hmm. And I guess hope that uh, the boy comes in clutch. Nope. They're even, but he has more health. And he can't counterattack because I left him in power. But that just means that now Sully can come after him. And now he'll get counterattacked here for definite. And you did nothing. And you almost, you almost killed yourself attacking this guy. Are you a fool? Oh, that's mean. Muriel may die here. Ah, good job, Frederick. The, for some reason, the emulator really didn't like that one. And for some reason, you're going here. Sure. Attack somebody who isn't about to die. Thank you. And you missed. Darn, I almost want to get there. We can do this to kill you and level up my swordsmanship. Sword power! We can get rid of you. Which I think I shall. Be gone, iron bow, risen man. Volleys from across the river. And a decent spread. I am a staunch believer in amelioration. Why do you use big words? Why are you ugly? Well, let's smack this guy for sword. We will switch. And smack this guy with a lance. Oh, a crit time! Even though that is... Well, I guess that kind of was a stab. Like a sliding stab. <laughs> Goodbye, dude. And a nice spread. 
Turns out the business end of my sword is me, even though you're using a spear. And found the bullion! Oh, that's not good. Oh, Jesus! That's an arc fire, and we didn't... Oh, because I don't have my... I have my sword equipped! Oh, no! My want to level up has doomed us all! Oh, that's not good at all. Hmm. Because what I could do is come here, switch, heal you. Then you could go fight the boss. And then I could equip my magic and snipe him. Yeah. And if anybody wants to attack her, she's in the fort now and she has extra defense. While it's scary, let's see if we can kill this motherfucker. Terrifying. And another crit, Sully, you are on a roll! Deserved. And arc fire, Jesus. Let this crap line around. Tiki's tear, what is all this? Hmm. It's been a bit, so why don't we let Frederick get some experience in? Oh, hey, there's even different, like, uh, geography stuff for the in game mountain level areas. Like when you fight, that's cool. No knight fears the slow but steady road. So let's take a look. I could go for my sword. Yeah, since we already leveled up stuff, let's smack this guy a bit. He'll heal, but hey, maybe that just gives us extra time to level up our sword. Come on, Krom, you missed? But my level... Oh, Krom leveled up. Neat. Don't die. You'll make Varian very sad. Well, at least this means we can just level up her a bit. I wonder if, like, if a character who got things in this area, this map, if they would lose the things that they found, if they need to live... I don't know. Hmm. What we'll do is we'll swap. And he'll probably just stay there a lot. He yeah, healing and... Oh, nope. He, he decided to be a dick. We're going to let him run all the way there to the shiny. Well, actually, yeah, he'll probably go for them, so wait. We luckily got a weak enemy to allow us to do this. Hmm, I'd better pick this up, lest someone stumble on it. Sweet tincture. At least this kind of makes sense to a degree like, uh... Let's see. Units. Frederick. Oh, I want to just look at his inventory. Well, maybe we can click on it down here. Restores the user's HP, but not very effectively. Hmm. 
Well, let's see. Arc fire. Extremely powerful fire magic, which requires a C. And what's a Tiki's tier? Grants max HP plus 5 and all other stats plus 2 for one battle. That is something that, if it sold good, I would sell instead. Because I don't do, like, partly things. Hmm. I know. We'll move you there. And now we're gonna smite you. And another crit! Awesome! The power of banding together! That takes care of the Risen. This area ought to be safe for a spell. Utterly amazing. Oh yeah, and another thing popped up down here as well. What is this? The o Outrealm Gate DLC. I'm gonna quickly, like, Google, like, when to do Outrealm Gate. Let's see. Because I don't know, like, what would be, like, good. Because I don't, like, uh, more than likely, yeah, here we go, when to play DLC. Really, you can start as soon as the Outrealm Gate opens. Realistically, it varies. Some of the DLC maps are harder than others. Some you may not be able to beat until near the end of the game. It's hard to say. You can open up a DLC map, look at some of the levels of enemies, and determine if you have the chance to win. Alright. So basically, you can look at it and do it whenever you want. Let's see. But yeah. I doubt that we get, like, different prices where we are. So let's see. Tiki's tier doesn't sell that well, but Bullion just seems to sell for a thousand. Hmm. Tiki's tier for 250. Like, maybe if I re... I guess I could hold on to it, just overall. Let's exit the shop. I'm going to quickly manage the inventory. So... Store the towering bow. I'm going to store the... Actually, I should st store the flux. And then the dying blaze can be my oh shit nuke time. Sweet tincture. We should see how much that sells for. We'll do that. We will store that. Seems good. Let's quickly see... We got to seven already. That's hilarious. Hmm. Gah! How did you block that? You are too. You're not using your strength wisely. Too much wasted movement. Go and practice what I taught you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah, uh, Frederick, Muriel, what brings you here? Fascinating. I was convinced that young lad had you dead to rights. But when his blow was about to land, you parried with the merest flick of your arm. Such a feat would seem to defy all natural laws. What is your secret? To what forbidden dark arts are you privy? If you saw my arm move, then your eye is sharper than most. When my master at arms first showed me the technique, I did not see as much. A woman of science is first and foremost an observer. Ah, and a keen eye is a fine weapon. But I don't think you came here to discuss swordplay. On that count, you are wrong. I want you to teach me that move. It is no easy trick to learn. I am a patient woman. Very well. Shall we begin? That's also kind of a sweet, like, dynamic there. Well, let's see what number s, s, s is. <laughs> Crom, just the man I wanted to see. We need to talk. Uh, Neon? It's about the route you drew up for tomorrow's march. I was looking at the map and I noticed... Crom? Are you listening to me? Uh, uh, of course. Actually, no. I skipped because I'm a dumbass. 
Crumb, you're acting very strange. Are you hiding something from me? H hide? No, you mean hide, hide? Oh, gosh, no, nothing at all, nope. Then why are you fidgeting like you've got a squirrel in your pantaloons? I'm not fidgeting. I'm perfectly relaxed and uh, normal. And refusing to meet my eye? Listen, Crumb, didn't you say that we're close friends with no secrets between us? Technically, he said partners in crime. Didn't you mean that? No, no, I mean, yes, I mean, I swear it's not like that. Uh, I know you've been avoiding me recently, and I'd like to know why, Crom. I think I deserve an explanation. Please, I don't go on pretend- I can't go on pretending that there's nothing wrong. Do you dislike my company now? D dislike you? Gadsneon, of course I don't dislike you. Nothing could be further from the truth. Then why are you avoiding me? Uh, what I said. D don't look at me like that. It's just that we've been fighting a lot together. We're always side by side. At first I thought of you as an ally, then a comrade, and finally a friend. I felt the bonds of trust grow between us, stronger and stronger. And then I realized you were more than just a friend. What do you mean? As a, I mean I care about you, Neon. As a man and you as a woman. Crumb, we can't possibly... Wait, please. You've made me come this far, and now I'm going to say my piece. But when you're worked up like this, you might say something you regret. I don't care. I've tried to keep this bottled up, and I can't do it anymore. I'm going to tell you how I feel, even if your head explodes in embarrassment. Okay? All right. Deep breath. Ooh. Hold. And out. Ha! Once more. Ooh. Holding. Holding and out. Ha! Right. I'm set now. Here goes. Prepare yourself, because I'm going to say it. Then say it already. Neon. I'm in love with you. Oh. I've been from the very first moment I laid eyes on you. I just didn't realize it until the last little while. Like, look, I know this is sudden and I'm coming on like a wavering in heat, but I'm not trying to force you into a decision, believe me. Whatever your answer, I shall abide by it, no matter how painful. And come what may, we'll always be friends. That I promise. This is... I'm sorry, Crumb, but this is impossible. The general and his chief tactician? It's just... it wouldn't be right. Our first responsibility must be to the soldiers we lead, not to each other. You understand that, don't you? Yes, I do. But someday, this war will end. We'll, em we'll emerge victorious and bring peace back to the world. And when that happens, we'll be free to follow our hearts. Our hearts? Yes. Because I love you as well. You do? But that's... But that's... Wonderful! <laughs> this is the best day of my life! Neon, listen to me. Oh, that's sweet! Oh, this is great! Now we're just here. Do I need to click? I think I need to click. <laughs> Attain support level S! I wonder if that means... Yet oddly, it seems like we could potentially attain, like, level S with anybody else as well, but I doubt it. That would be weird. Rip to anybody that was just like, Oh yes, level S, I can finally do it! <laughs> Husband Crom. That's actually... That's sweet. That's sweet down there. I like this. Oh, it even tells you. Sword, strong against axes, weak against lances. I just needed to click on it. I'm a dumbass. But that's sweet. They actually have a kind of semi-animated cutscene. Well, to celebrate that, let's use a diddly D box. Guess I need to actually equip it. Yeah, that's sweet. Oh yeah, I forgot I was going to check out and see how much that cost. 
I do find it kind of funny, again, that it's not, like, I guess it's implied, and it's kind of meant to be like, oh, anybody would know that. If you go to rank S, it's basically instant marriage. Also, I do like the, not as effective. It is only 37 gold. But I also find it funny that, like... It's like, we can't. We have to think of our people. And then, like, immediately... I guess we could do this again. For, mm, actually, it doesn't really matter too much. We'll just do the North Road. Of which we shall... Let's see, is there anything in the barracks? No. I wonder when the barracks... Well, then again, I think that's after, like, story stuff. Because we've been just doing a bunch of random side stuff right now. Well, Crom... Let us reeking box use. Oh, that's scary. Well, it's battle. Let's see. Again, that's sweet. Let's see if we can click on it. Marriage partner or life companion. That implies that I guess not all of them end in marriage. Let's see. Oh, that's scary. Entombed? And a bunch of... Weaven Riders. An Iron Axe that we can get for free. Some small bullion. Well, either way, we're gonna be... Because I think these guys have, like, a lot of range. Okay, that guy has small range. Well, I think I know what I'm going to do. I think everything is good, so let us... Oh, we can exit if we don't want to fight it, too. Neat. Fight! Well, first things first. Hmm. Actually, I'll send him here. Well, let's see. Steel bow to do more damage. Yeah, because it's better than the iron bow. And wait. Let's go together. And we'll go ahead and grab this. You dropped something, Neon. Is this... Oh no, you saw it? Well, it's a gift. I was hoping to surprise you. We can't go any higher! Oh, but he won't be able to attack from where he is. I'm a fool. I thought I was smart, but actually I'm a dumb. And this is the first time we're running into some Wevern Riders. Wow, leveled up. Nice. Oh, Jesus. I have fed him to the crows. You are going to die. Th then again, it no damage. How dare you. Booyah! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. High-level relationship units are amazing. And I've leveled up my sword. And you have chosen death with that move. Because now he's going to counterattack. <laughs> Fly away and die. What is an entombed? Jesus. Oh, bonus damage to Wevern? I wonder why. <gasps> because my Falcon sword destroys them! One shot. Lol. Utterly amazing. And now the funny... Ah, from now on, what I need to do is actually pair 
like my avatar and Chrom with like different characters from now on. Because they Hmm. Well actually I can move here and take out this guy. But that's what I need to do. What I need to do is actually pair up maxed ranked characters in off battles with other characters so that they will just like get better. I'm going to kill you with an iron lance. You missed. Die. And this will kill the entombed. I can level up my... Cause let's see. He is E currently of spears, so let's try and level up his spears. What are these freaky goop guys with bags on their heads? And why do they have slow attacks? You shouldn't you should be able to dodge that super easily, Stall. You're on a horse. And level up for Stall. Yes, progress. And bullion. You have come to kill yourself. Basically. Your attacks are so slow. Do a backflip. Jesus! Is a is a is a gold entombed thing guaranteed level up or what? No one can stop me now. Oh, you're going to kill the boy. Don't hit the boy. Thank God. Let us switch. We shall blast this guy. For a little bit of experience. She'll come here and blast you. I'm going to kill the boss! Ha <laughs> And level up in the process. With a good spread, please avert your envious gazes. Please avert your envious gaze. Now we will swap. Let's see. Because... I'll just level up my fun... Well, level up my magic some. So I can use more. Yes! <laughs> and not a good spread of stat increase, but oh well. Oh no. I think Stall's gonna get nuked. Stall's gonna die! Unless... We'll come here, and we'll switch! Haha! -ha, you fool! And you missed somehow. You missed the mage, the cleric. How can you even do that? We'll move here so that then we can blast this guy out of the sky. And a super crit! Hell yeah.
And I'll go ahead and blast you with some magic. Ah, and he just dies. <laughs> Frederick has entered to annihilate your foes. We didn't get the other sparkly, but oh well. I'm really growing to like this game. Now we're going to go and sell the other bullion. I carry only the finest. Like always, sell that bullion. So if I really wanted to, I could do just a loop of reeking box bullion, reeking box bullion for eternity. And we got more support. Ah, Sully, hmm? Why are you looking at me so? Is there something on my face? I'm the wrong person to ask. I haven't seen things lately. And yet your beautiful eyes appear as clear and sharp as ever. Tell me of these visions, milady, that I might proffer some support. You fought a duel, you damn fool! What's more, you won! And you beat someone the others had trouble fighting as a unit! If that isn't seeing things, I don't know what is! Are you truly surprised at that, milady? I told you before that I would accept a duel had I only a reason. And what was that reason? The man had to be stopped. Had I let him escape, he might have turned his wrath upon neighboring villages. So you risked your neck for a handful of strangers? I fought to defend the defenseless. No true nobleman would do less. But nor would he enter meaningless battles like a blood-mad savage in search of glory. Ah, uh, the very thought disgusts me. So, is that why you want to defend me? Exactly! You, my dear, are a lady fair, a paragon of grace and beauty. Any fellow who would call himself a gentleman would defend such a creature. Don't call me a creature, you flowery snot, and I can defend my own damn self. Although, well, I guess I don't mind if you call me a lady. But only because I've seen you show a bit of courage on the battlefield. If not for that, I'd send you off half the gentleman you used to be. Then you accept me as a hero worthy of protecting you. Let's not get crazy now, Ruffles. I just promoted you to the, from lousy craven to decent guy. That's all. And I suppose you can watch my back in a brawl. Aye, and soon you'll trust your tender heart to my love's fearsome embrace. Okay, you're still clearly insane. But if there must be a dangerous madman about, I'm glad he's on my side. I like their dynamic! I like it. I almost wish that there was a bit more interaction between the characters. But, yeah, I think that will be it for now. We've been going for a bit. We actually did quite a few battles, and they went relatively quickly. And I like that. I might have a dedicated session where I just, like, record myself grinding against, like, what I call bullion beasts. And then I might just, like, uh, use that to raise affinity a bit. Just a bit between characters who haven't, like, paired off before. So they can get to, like, see and be in, like, their stuff a bit. As well as, like, raise our money funds a bit. So that we can, like, uh, get a bit few more weapons for to carry around. If I really wanted to cheese it, like, who knows? Maybe once everybody is, like, affinitied together... Maybe, just maybe, I might go in on a super grind to level up our random weapons just so we can dominate our foes. But yeah, this is a fun game. I love it. This is amazing. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. The Neon Icy Wings edited content YouTube channel. I swear, I swear, content is coming there eventually. It's just that life. I'm, I'm trying to think of like smaller videos that are less crazy. That of like because there are certain videos my brain wants to be like, no, you have to edit it super well. So I'm trying to think of videos that won't tr like set my brain off. But yeah, videos are coming there eventually. Hopefully, one before the end of the year if I can wrangle the old brain pan. Then of course there is the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games that I stream to and upload gameplay and stream vods to. 
So if you want to watch games I've played in the past and watch me play games live, that is where you can do that. Neon Icy Games. And if you prefer to watch me play games live on sites like Twitch, well, yeah, site like Twitch, because that's the only place. I only dual stream to YouTube and Twitch. Then you can watch me on twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. Other such places is if you like my little character avatar in the corner, you can find more of that in the various sites like Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Inkblot, Pillowfort. So many sites. So many sites. Tumblr. And all of those links can be found in my link tree, which can be found as a link in bios, descriptions, and link places of various sites. Or can be typed in with linktr.ee slash neoniceywings. Links to all my art social medias there, as well as my writing, if you want to see the various stories that I have set out into the wild. And if you want to throw a dollary do my way to ease the burden of this horrific capitalism nightmare hellscape, you can also find my Patreon. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>